So today we are going to look at another quest ship. This is the Star Eagle. You can get this from the Ranger quest line. It is the color of sand and it's gray. So just think of cowboy, the desert. This is the widest ship that I have covered to date. Um, it is seven wide. The widest ship at this point that we've looked at is five. That ship was called the Crimson Fleet Wake, but this is the Ranger Star Eagle. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if these are engines too. But they're definitely landing gear. It's very fleshed out the way that it looks. These are two engines. It has some really cool features, like it has like the the metal on the back shaped like coils that would be like on a heat sink. I think it gives it a nice touch. It's got the brass trimming like the brass that would be on a, a shield for a Texas Ranger or something of that nature so that's cool you can tell that this piece is made by Stroud Eklund and let's go inside and see what it looks like we'll do a quick circle view after we do the ship breakdown <coughs> I'm so sorry, I hit cockpit, didn't I? Well, let's get out and then um, we'll, we'll just view it from here and I'll walk out of the ship at the end. So here is our pilot seat. We're in the front of the ship. It's a bigger cockpit. It looks like there are five seats just right here. You have your safe. Um, on the other side, you have your storage. And the monitor that I don't have on anymore. You walk in. In this area, this is a area that we haven't seen before. We'll have to see what it's called when we're ripping it apart. If it's unique, we'll definitely go over that. Um, we'll go to the bottom last. Here are some weapon racks, some lockers. There is a, it looks like a security area with some glass here. Another weapon case. If you go inside, you can see that there's a restroom. Looks like a camera. We have some cells here. I don't know if you can keep people in these cells or not, so that's something. But it definitely matches the theme of this ship, since you have to be law enforcement to acquire it. I guess this would be the main security chief's chair. You have an ammo case here, it holds 10 mass. Ammo is weightless, so you can put something else in there. Here is another room. See, so this one has a galley. Couple beds, table. And now we're going to head downstairs. Boop. So we have a storage area. Here is the outside. I haven't seen the docker yet. Is the docker straight up? No. We'll look, we'll find it. This is just like an engine room. And this engine room goes all the way back. And there is absolutely nothing special about it. So it, there, there is a storage box with a tin weight. But as of the room itself, 
It's purely cosmetic. Where is our doctor? Whenever. Oh, there's another story here. Here's our doctor. And it looks like everybody's up here. I didn't even know this was a place. I'm ready to head out again when you are. This is the captain quarters, I'm pretty sure. You have your restroom. You have your navigation console. Did you need something? Wow. So, all right, let's go ahead and exit. We start off outside of the ship and we explore it. Sorry, I'm doing things a little bit backwards. Got anything you need to offer? Okay. It probably helps change it up, actually. But here's the Star Eagle. We have our Stroud Eklund Viking CP220 cockpit, which means it's their Stage 2 cockpit. Our Nova Cowling cock, our Nova Cowling for the top. We have our Tayo landing gear. We have a 250 GC suppressor. This does electromagnetic damage. This is the first EMP weapon that we have. Um, EMP weapons attack systems randomly, so. I mean, it could hit any system at all. Even when you're targeting, it could hit any system. So it's not something I like to use just because you don't know what it's going to hit. You have your 3G landing gear mid. Attached here, you have your Stroud Cap A. So this is structural, and you have the bottom part to it. And it looks like this is your cowling, which would be mid, but it doesn't say mid. But it attaches to a AccuLander landing gear. So that's pretty cool. And then you have your engines. These are two different engines. We'll count them together. So each side gives you 30,000 by 6,000, and they take up two power peaks. So these four engines take up eight power. So you could easily add a four power engine on the back to make it faster. So these engines are definitely way better than the ones we looked at before, which is why I said, you know, it's kind of a bad idea. And it wasn't that great for being a quest ship. You have your Stroud Cap C aft top. Normally whenever we see this one, um, it's flipped. I thought, but this one's saying that we cannot flip it, so maybe I am wrong. You have your thruster arrays. These are just for looks, taking off and landing, and they do nothing in space. They blow out gray smoke when you're taking off and landing. These are your missile launchers, 68-25 apiece. Um, they will both fi fire together. So that's a lot of damage for missiles. Um, hull damage and fire rate and shield damage. She's 19.94 times 2. So they do like 40 apiece. So these together are doing as much damage as the missile launcher on our first ship that I showed to Frontier. This is just this side's version of these wings and landing gear and engines. So pull them off. So these are the same things. They're thruster arrays. We'll set those off to the side. This was something cool we haven't seen yet. These radiators. Okay. So these things that look like heat sinks are actually called radiators. Um, and they are cosmetic. In real life, these would pull heat away from the engine and away from the base and engine base so it wouldn't get too hot and it looks like these have built-in heat sinks too so that's cool so we'll take off our radiator slash heat sinks and then our engine bracers that let us attach the, the cowlings far away we also have these little wing things 
That's cool. They're made by Nova Galactic. It's the first time we've seen these wings. Belly aft. So I said if we ever saw these, I'd look at them. So it is rounded at the bottom to look more like a bottom piece. So it's purely decoration. What else do we have back here? We have our reactor, 31 power. This reactor is not the one that came with the ship. I bought this. Um, just because I needed more engine power than the one that came with it originally, so I'm sorry about that. But it was the same size as this. Just not the same engine power. You have your landing gear 3G afts on both sides. You have... I'm going to wait. I'm just going to pull off these pieces now. The docker at the top. And I'm going to pull off these Deimos wings. We've seen these wings before. And then this is our landing bay, ship bed 200. You can flip that back and forth. And your helium tanks to give you 140 fuel. So now we're at the habitat pieces. So let's see if there's any unique ones. We have a shield generator that's super small. It's 760 max health at 10% rate. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought this too because I just wanted a high health rate. I felt like they. I'm not very good at trying to um, sprint to get out of the way of lots of damage at once. So I, intend, I like the higher health with the lower rate. But this is a high rate with lower health, and I'm just not doing that good with it. So I'll probably change it out. Storeroom, super common, Stroud Eckley. Stroud Brig. So the prison is actually made by Stroud, and it's called a Brig 2x2, two two, and it does not appear to be unique. So you should be able to buy this at the Stroud Eklan Star Yard. This is the 30T hauler cargo hold. So it has it can hold 1,000 cargo. It comes with the ship able to hold that much. The living quarters. This was our galley captain's quarters. That's what I thought it was at the top where everybody was. Your control station which gives you more crew station so you can have a 6 max instead of a we'll see that that's something too this says 4 crew station and this says 4 crew station which means it should be 8 so I wonder if it's because I only have a max crew skill of 6 it says I can have a max crew of 6 so possibly I could have 8 if I had to skill for 8 a storeroom, another cargo for a thousand, and then a crew station, plus one, for an engineering bay. This is actually where the engine was, so the engineering bay is your engine room. So that's pretty cool. So the two new pieces that we've seen is your engine bay, engineering three by one, and our brig. Stroud Eklund 2x2. So if you want to put people in prison or role play with your NPCs or put the adoring fan behind bars where he belongs, it is the Stroud Brig 2x2. Let's put this thing back together. Okay, now here is the Star Eagle. Like I said, we'll just do a quick one because I know I'm not really explaining the exteriors as much as I was before just because we've seen it before. But that's what it looks like. You can get this from the Ranger quest line, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.